Take a look at this concept vehicle right here. Stunning, isn't it? And now take a look at this logo. Yes, it's the new concept curve from the house of Tata Motors. Tata Motors has had a phenomenal grip over the Indian EV space, one that is now looking to further extent with newer products with better features and enhanced range. In comes the concept curve. First part of the name clearly tells you that it's a concept. Second part, of course, highlights the design element of the vehicle from the outside and on the inside. You're watching HT Auto. I'm Shubhadeep Chakravarti, and today we're focusing on some of the big highlights of the all new concept curve from Tata Motors. Now, of all the several design exterior highlights on the concept curve, there are three that I primarily would like to highlight. One, of course, is the signature lighting system all around this car. So whether it's this horizontal line that's going all the way across the front fender, it's all LED here, or this LED headlight units right here, or the LED horizontal line at the back, or the LED tail lights. It's all coming together to give the concept curve a really, really catchy exterior design. Then, of course, is its wide and very dominant road presence. So this car has a clear emphasis on a very wide profile. So it will have a very, very uh, dominating road presence. It's also a car that's standing upright. Uh, it's the ride height is quite high, which actually lends it its SUV credentials. The roof, coupe like roof line is, of course, another major highlight. Third, of course, is also how aerodynamic this car is. It has to be aerodynamic to increase its range credentials when it does hit uh, Indian roads on roads around the world, if at all. Uh, that is primarily highlighted by all the design elements that you see here. The coupe like roof line that I've already mentioned also helps it really, really pierce through uh, wind resistance. The front lower bumper of the curve has a groove pattern that helps the car have a sense of precision. There are large wheel arch claddings all around which helps the curve appear more tough and more durable, typical of SUVs. Tata engineers have given it a whole lot of thought and it's not just about the styling but also about the engineering aspect as well. There's a whole lot happening on the inside as well so come, let's take a look. The cabin of the concept car has a minimalistic yet futuristic appeal. This is primarily highlighted by the stretched out dashboard, the integrated air vents, the brand new steering wheel design and the two all digital freestanding display screens. One serving as the main infotainment screen and the other the driver display. The floating C pillar accentuates the aerodynamic theme that is taken from the exterior right into the cabin of this car and there is a general sense of spaciousness with the concept of getting four bucket seats. Tata Motors says that a whole lot of sustainable and recycled materials have been used all around the cabin of the curve. To further enhance the spacious appeal of the concept, one can get a panoramic sunroof. Now once the curve hits production lines, it will be the first electric vehicle which is first electric and then in ICE form. Tata Motors has already confirmed that there won't be any hybrid. The big question is, when will you see this car in its production form out on Indian roads? Well, you have a wait of two years before it happens. And how much of this concept will actually materialize into production form? Tata Motors says that we, you and I, wouldn't be disappointed eventually when this car hits Indian roads. That's all that we have for you in this episode. Do please be sure to follow us on YouTube and our social media channels. For now though, that's all the time we have. Thank you for watching.